so yeah, today's episode review is The Headless Ghost. Personally, now re-watching this, it is a good episode. It might be my top 10. But it might be one of my top 10s, like... It's a, actually, like, a really, really scary episode, like... This is actually a really scary episode, like, actually scary, like, scary scary, man. Holy shit is this one scary. Um, you wouldn't believe how scary this one is. This isn't even scarier than House of No Return, which I thought was a pretty scary episode. This is a really scary episode. So, if you want to start Goosebumps, if you want to start off with a scary episode, watch The Headless Ghosts. It doesn't even help with the music accompanying it, because it's the music is just... Thank you, Jack Lins. But seriously, the music is just terrifying in this episode, too. Some of the best. Oh my god. Seriously, what just gets strange in this episode? There's so much more I want to talk about. Okay. So, the episode begins with us seeing the house. Um, Hill House. Yes, I got that right. I got I got Hill House right. I'm like, yeah, it is Hill House. So, you start off in Hill House. And uh, there's a young boy tracing around his room saying, I know you're here. Show yourself. His mom walks in. And she says, you know, there's no ghosts in this house, right? Now go to bed. He's like, okay, mommy. And all of a sudden, there's a cat on his bed screeching. I wonder why. Hmm. And then all of a sudden, <coughs> I am the ghost. I bet I was, I, I, I'm, I'm the ghost, mate. I'm, I'm the ghost, mate. She don't like any. Um, so yeah. So, he gets taken by the ghost, or, well, if you want to say killed, yeah. Whatever you want to say. And then we all of a sudden get cut back to present day. Which was, like, when is this episode released? Hold on. I don't know. Seriously, though. It's a good episode. Um... We cut back to present day, and there we're on a tour for just a few seconds before we get a jump scare from a little Asian girl having a creepy werewolf glove wrapped around her leg. All of a sudden, to be revealed, it should be a prank from these two from our main character Stephanie. I'm pretty sure that was her name. Let me check. Yeah, Dwayne and Stephanie. Yeah, Dwayne and Stephanie. I'm sorry if all these looking. Cause I want to. I I I just want to know. I'm getting this spray, okay. Okay, so Dwayne and Stephanie, main characters. Um, uh, they get kicked out of the Hill House for that night. Like, just get, just ban them from Hill House. Even way they just don't. Um, the dude running the house, running the tours and shit. Spoiler alert. I mean, you should be watching this after you watch the episode. The guy running Hill House is a ghost. Like, one of the main... There's, like, three main ghosts in this episode. Yes, ghost. Free ghost. Even though it's called the Headless Ghost. And it's, like, the Headless Ghost is the side of the side character ghost. I'm not even kidding. I'm just joking. But seriously, what the fuck, man? Um. Let's continue off with this. Um. Sorry, got hair in my eyes. I need a haircut, guys. So they get kicked out of the house for that night, for the tour. They say, he says, come back tomorrow when you guys have more respect for the ghosts of Hill house. They're like, whatever. Um, and then all of a sudden, they're just chatting like, okay, we should go back in there tomorrow and look for the head instead of pranking people. Like the head of the headless ghost. Which is, you know, in a dumbwaiter or maybe in something else. Hint, hint, dumbwaiter. But uh, anyways... All of a sudden, we get a cut from one of the windows upstairs, obviously being a person looking down at them. Not very comforting, you know? And then when they walk away, and we're about to cut to the next day, that rhymed, um, we get, there's someone actually looking at them in the bushes, and it's a young boy. Well, not a young boy. There's a very, not young, older than me, older than my dad, older than everybody. In this, the oldest person in the planet, 
I mean, it's a ghost now, okay, spoiler alert. <laughs> Even though y'all probably should have watched this episode. The episode before this episode review. Anyways, on the next day, they go back there. Um, they get, they, for some reason, they just load them back in. Like, okay, yeah, just don't bring anybody this time. And they're like, oh, yeah, sure. Have you even met Stephanie? Oh, my God, man. So, Stephanie and Dwayne just cut off. They sneak off from uh, the tour group. And kind of reminds me of Terra Tower a little bit, but... They go up the stairs into a room that says do not enter. Like, okay, that must be where the head might be. That's a that's a good idea, yeah. Sure. And they look around. Um, and Stephanie just pranks Dwayne a few times. Dwayne's more of a chicken like character. He's a chicken, but I like Dwayne. Stephanie's a badass nigga balls gay. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I don't have the N word pass, so Nigeria. Nigeria falls as badass now and badass Nigeria falls gay. There we go. That, that's my N word pass. I get the N word pass for Nigeria. Anyways, sorry y'all. I, I am I am a very controversial person. The next thing you know it, um there's a dude walking in and they just gotta hide in the closet. Oh yeah. Mmm. Mmm, the closet sounds kinda of sus. Anyways, uh he the dude opens the closet and he's like Oh, it's oh, it's just the guy running the the hill house, you know the ghost. Like I said, you should watch the episode before this, you fat lazy shit. Anyways, next thing you know it, uh, they're getting, they're literally now actually getting banned from Hill House. So now they're officially banned from Hill House. We no wonder like I'm in Hill House. Come back, and we will kick your ass right the fuck back out. You are banned from Hill House. So we're speaking 88 BC. Anyways. And then they're arguing like, oh my god, I just, what are we gonna do now? What are we gonna do now? And then all of a sudden, boy comes out of the bushes, the boy from the last night, which is a ghost, obviously. Not the headless ghost, not the ghost I was I mean, sorta. I, I don't know. There's two headless ghosts technically. I don't know, it's very weird. Um, and he says, hey, uh, do you want you guys want to see some real ghosts? And they're like, yeah. Sneak in tomorrow. Okay. And then the next day, they sneak in um, and actually go, like, real ghost hunting. And they decide to go up in the attic, like, the observatory, whatever you want to call it. Because that's apparently, I mean, that's where he just leads them to. And they're looking around. And he actually tells them a story because they're just looking for ghosts. And then you're like... Can you tell us a story about the headless ghost? Yeah, sure. Um, sure. <laughs> sort of something like that. And here goes the story. There was a boy who loved ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. All he ever wanted was ice cream. He he fuck. He would literally. He would point a gun at the fucking maid man. He would point a gun at the maid, and go, "If you do not make me some fucking strawberry ice cream, I will fucking blow your head." Insta freezer. I, I okay. That, that was a very bad pun. I'll, I'll blow your brains out. I'll kick your fucking teeth in. Chuck your reference. Um, seriously. And she every time he rang the bell, more ice cream, nigga. Nigeria, more ice cream. Nigeria falls. That's your name. I said no. Nah. I need. Uh, okay. I'm sorry, guys. I'm so racist. I'm not racist. I'm not racist. Maybe I'm just joking. Seriously, though. This dude's just a bitch to his maid. And she's like, oh my god, I have to make two more ice cream. So, one day, the dumb waiter didn't go all the way up. I have a feeling that this was on purpose, so she could kill him. Then again, she looked very shocked when the dumb waiter opened. Maybe, she's, maybe there's cameras. You know, this was like really a long time ago, like 200 years ago, but sure. Um... Anyways, um, um, he, the, I'm wondering, you know, what it was when the boy opened his dumbwaiter door, there was no ice cream, so he had to jump down. Like, what? No, he tried to bend down to get it, but then he slipped, apparently, or some people say that he was pushed by a ghost, as the kid says, which I probably would believe that would be the true one, maybe. More likely, it's goosebumps, man. And the, 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 the maid or the 
cook finds him dead so yeah that's the story and now we're just like okay so now we gotta find this dude's head so they look around and then we a little foreshadow like what are these paintings oh yeah they say that the sailor used to live here paints um portraits of his victims hmm that might be foreshadowing something that literally happens in just a few minutes anyways um um, eventually, he, they're like, okay, maybe it's not up here. So, we, he, um, the dude goes to lock the door, and they're like, why are you locking the door? And he's like, <laughs> no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna rape you. I just need your head, Dwayne. I need your fucking head. Oh, yeah, I need your head. And they, um, Dwayne's like, this dude's a fucking ghost. Dude, you do not want my head. It is nasty. I, if you have my head, if you want my brain, my brain, I have looked at so many porn, and it's just under night. Like, seriously, like, mother, like, why would you want my brain? Like, my brain is infested with, and I'm always, um, I'm always hard. Wait, what? That's a, that's a lot of porn. That's mine. Wait, what? Anyways, um, he tries to convince them that he does not, that this, he should not want, he, Dwayne tries to convince the ghost that he should not want his brain, and his head, and his teeth, because they're all nasty. But of course the ghost doesn't agree, and right before he takes the head, she's like, okay, we gotta get out here, dumbwaiter, dumbwaiter, open the dumbwaiter, and there's the head that they've been looking for. He's like, what'd you expect? Ice cream? like holy shit and all of a sudden this is the part where it's just creepy especially with the music but it's sort of cute funny i don't know because the kid isn't really it doesn't seem like he has that many evil intentions it's the headless ghost we're looking at now a body comes out of nowhere comes and grabs the head accidentally throws it on the floor and then the head says what am i a bowling ball picks it up puts it on his head well not but puts it in his arms and then it walks away into nothingness. They're so confused. I'm like, what? Then the old man running the place walks in, who is a ghost, as I already said. Um says, Oh, guys, guys, don't worry. Oh, uh, that was a ghost, but that was a hundred percent a ghost. We were we're not kidding, that is a ghost, but we were pranking you guys. Um not well, I wasn't trying to. The little shit over here was trying to prank you. We'll deal with him later. Um Stephanie, stay in the room. Um Dwayne, you're free to go. You're a good dude. I, I love you, man. <laughs> I'll suck your dick at now. I mean any I I was I might keep it anyways, uh he, Dwayne leaves the room and Stephanie is now here. He's like, I'm gonna talk to Stephanie. Turns around and then I, when she looks back at him, all of a sudden he's see through and he's, he has a fucking, he's painting her. Like I foreshad, like, like they foreshadowed. Like the kid said, oh yeah, Sarah always por paints a portrait of, vict of his victims before he kills them. It's pretty crazy. But, and in the process they learn how he kills them. The portraits that he paints, what it, the parts that he paints, get disappear from the actual body. Of the actual person. Like, she's vanishing. She's turning into a ghost. She's gotta be in the painting. And she's screaming, and then Dwayne hears her. He runs up there. He can't get open the door. The headless ghost and the kid from earlier just magically appear. And they're both ghosts now. Um, Dwayne gets the door open. The, the ghosts disappear. Except for the old man ghost. Um, Stephanie and Dwayne run away. And freedom, and they have sex army. God bless you, man. I am horny. Anyways... Next day, well, hopefully not the next day, uh, probably a few years later, Hill House is closed, and now it's an actual house that you can rent. Or, I'm not sure if it's actually a flashback or not, but seriously, a family's moving in there, and they're like, oh yeah, we're gonna love this house. And then, the guy who's selling it to him is like, oh yeah, you'll love it. And he turns around, takes off his hat, and it's the sailor dude. So I'm like, okay, he's gonna kill him. That's great. And then he closes the door, and this happened early, the door knocker goes... <laughs> Green, uh, the eyes of the door knocker light up. This episode, it's a 10 out of 10. Acting, well, special effect. This episode's overall is 10 out of 10. Acting, acting is a 9 out of 10. 
um, special effects. Once you did get 10 out of 10. Overall, 9.5 out of 10, actually. I love this episode. Thank y'all for watching. Goodbye.